from CBS News Bay Area, this is the Evening Edition. Well, thanks for joining us. We begin with a new major push to help airline passengers who are just fed up with delays and cancellations, lost luggage and hidden fees. Good evening. I'm Ryan Yamamoto. Yeah, we've all been there. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. The new rules were announced today in anticipation of a busy summer travel season. This is a big day for America's flying public. Too often, the things that we hear about aren't just irritating inconveniences. They are significant harms. This all comes as more people are taking to the skies. More than 70 million passengers traveled through Bay Area airports in 2023. That is a significant jump from the year before. Katie Nielsen is at Oakland International with the new mandates designed to get you to your destination faster and put any lost cash back in your pocket. It's all part of the Biden administration's plan to strengthen consumer protections. Almost everyone we talked to here today had some kind of a story to tell us about a flight cancellation, a time that they were delayed, or even getting bumped from their flight entirely. But new protections just announced could make getting compensated even easier. I'm usually on an airplane about once or twice a week. David Amel is an attorney and a frequent flyer, having spent more than his fair share of time stuck in airports, including a Saturday a few months ago when he was stuck at LAX for more than eight hours due to cancellations. I think I got like a $150 um, uh, voucher. At that point, I would have paid them $150 extra dollars to get on a flight. It's situations like those that spurred the Department of Transportation to draft new rules to protect travelers. We have heard it all. And too often the things that we hear about aren't just irritating inconveniences. They are significant harms and, more importantly, violations of passengers' rights. And we're here to do something about that. The rules announced today require a refund, not flight credit or miles, for a canceled flight. If passengers are delayed for more than three hours for a domestic flight or six hours for an international flight, they are eligible for a refund if they don't want to fly. Bag fees also have to be refunded if a checked bag is significantly delayed, and passengers get a refund if services they paid for aren't available, like broken Wi-Fi. Airlines are now also required to disclose fees up front for things like checked bags, carry-on bags, or changing or canceling a flight. This isn't just about enforcing when something goes wrong. It's making it less likely something would go wrong in the first place. A welcome change for passengers like Angela Menjabar, who missed a connecting flight coming back from an international trip. Last night, my flight was delayed leaving Montego Bay. Um, got me just in time to miss my flight. <laughs> um, I had to get rebooked. She says she hopes the new rules will also incentivize airlines to plan better and also solve problems before they arise. It should be a wake-up call to them. Um, anytime, you know, somebody's hitting the pocketbook, I, it should kind of wake you up, right? Cancellations, delays, they happen, but they shouldn't happen because an airline is just seeking to maximize profit. So I think that moves by the government such as this, I think it's great. Now the rules about getting a refund will go into effect within the next six months and the rest go into effect a year from now. Well, Airlines for America is a trade group that represents the largest U.S. carriers. A spokesperson said airlines offer plenty of options to make air travel easier, including fully refundable fares. The group also says refund complaints have fallen sharply since the middle of 2020.